Chelsea fans were excited to see Callum Hudson Oda's name on the starting lineup for their Carabao Cup semi final match against Tottenham Hotspur. The 18 year old looks destined to have a bright future in the game, but it may not be at Stamford Bridge. He's been linked with a move to Bayern Munich with Sky Sports reporting on Tuesday that the German club have reached Chelsea's valuation with a £35 million offer for him. Hudson Oda is believed to have told Chelsea that he wants to leave Stamford Bridge Sky Sports report adds. But he had to put the rumours to one side and focus on helping Chelsea in their first leg game at Wembley Stadium. Hudson Oda started on the right of Chelsea's attack, with William on the left and Eden Hazard playing as a false nine. And Chelsea supporters believe he showed why Maurizio Sarai would be wrong to sell him. Hudson Oda provided Chelsea's main threat in the first half. Per Oliver Young Miles of Metro Sport. He had the second highest number of touches for Chelsea in the opening 45 minutes, 44, and 56% of their attacks came down his side. Says a lot about him that his teammates have so much faith in a relatively untested 18-year-old on such a big occasion young Miles wrote. He had Chelsea's first shot of the match and later on in the first half. Tottenham goalkeeper Paolo Gazzaniga tipped his deflected cross onto the post. And through 75 minutes, he provided the most passes in the opposition half of any player, 43, per Sky Sports Stato. For a teenager to play with such confidence in an important match was impressive and Chelsea fans believe he provides a better option to William. The Brazilian wasn't at his best and attracted criticism for one moment in particular. And fans believe that Chelsea are a better team with Hudson Oda over William. Their thoughts were justified when, in the 63rd minute of the match, William, not Hudson Oda, was taken off for Pedro. Another test passed for the youngster. Then Chelsea fans can only hope that his display will convince the club to perform a U-turn on selling him. The Blues were beaten 1-0 after Harry Kane's penalty in the first half. They will attempt to overturn the deficit in the return fixture at Stamford Bridge on the 22nd of January.